It is a heated debate over a proposal News 5 has been telling you about now for months. The Boston Road Interchange Project stirring passionate reaction from residents and leaders in Strongsville and in Brunswick. Tessa DiTero is live for us right now in Strongsville revisiting this topic, bringing us up to date on the whole thing. Tessa. Rob, good evening. Dozens of folks rallied here outside of a very long Strongsville City Council meeting. These folks are a part of a group residents opposing I-71 interchange. They say they want City Council to know they're still very worried about the future of their neighborhood. Homes, not highways. That's the saying on some signs and shirts of the folks against the proposed Boston Road interchange project. If it doesn't take my home, I will lose my value of my home. Um, we've lived there, like I said, for 30 years, raised our children there. Shree Cullums wanted to retire in her Brunswick home. Now that plan is up in the air. Our lives are on hold. News 5 is continuing our coverage on this story, potentially affecting dozens of families. Back in June, we shared the results of the first part of a feasibility study the city of Strongsville commissioned from the surveying firm Euthenix. Inside tonight's Strongsville City Council meeting, the president of that company shared more from the study. Our study, the findings show that although some congestion will be reduced, there will still be backups on 82. That study also showed the interstate project would require widening Boston Road to accommodate traffic. It's bad on every level. It's not just a practical level for the people's homes, on a financial level for the taxpayers. Because to widen Boston Road, which is not included in what this legislation means, tens of millions of dollars, we don't have that money. Neighbors to the South, Brunswick City Council is fighting against the project. Every day I get calls, somebody going, is my, is my retirement that I saved up for, that I put into my home, is that going to be okay? They could stop this right now. The mayor of Strongsville addressed the future of the project inside tonight's city council meeting. No official timeline has been set. Numerous letters of support have been submitted. All public comments will be considered and the proposed mitigation plan will be evaluated. Some newer Strongsville neighbors joined the group for the first time. We're in our 30s, just moved into our house a few years ago and I mean, I love the house. I could stay in it the rest of my life, but if you put a highway exit in the street, that it's going to be rough. And no matter how long it takes, these neighbors say they're not backing down. Bottom line is we're going to continue to fight this. I called State Representative Tom Patton this evening. We chatted on the phone. He tells me that this project still from the state perspective is a safety project because of that dangerous intersection, he says, at 82 and Howe Road. He says he welcomes any and all ideas to mitigate traffic in that dangerous intersection here and for folks to call him. For now, live in Strongsville, Tessa Tiro, News 5. Tessa, thank you so much.